Okay, we're in Nelson, BC because we decided we would take a break from camping because no one can camp for that long. So we are here and we're walking to the town center to explore and I have very high expectations of Nelson because everyone said we were gonna love it and it was the coolest place ever. And it is like the weed city of Canada or something. I didn't know that. And it's lots of hippie stuff and apparently it's vegan friendly. And so far, as we're walking through this neighborhood from our Alpine Inn Hotel, Motel. It's a VW van. Um, I like it, and I think I would live here. And this camera work is awful, so whatever. We'll just cut right now. <laughs> Everything's kind of closed in this town, but so far we've seen like five crystal shops, three yoga studios, a meditation center. So I think that's why everyone thought I would like Nelson. Except it closes early, so we might be having an early evening here but we're gonna find some vegan dinner somewhere. Although the few restaurants we've looked in have lots of meat and cheese on the menu. Cause I think this is like the kind of place where it's like everything's local, but I don't know that it maybe it's so vegan friendly, but we'll see. John, initial thoughts? It must be magic here. Cause what is it? It's starting to look like a triple rainbow. <laughs> You can barely see there is a doubleness happening. Oh, there's two right there. Like right there and there. And then there's like a double purple line. Mm. It's that green stuff. Salsa verde and hot sauce. Okay, we found food at El Taco, which my cousin said to come to El Taco, because apparently it's amazing. But I will say, after walking the entire area of Nelson, downtown, and looking at all the menus at all the restaurants, it is not very vegan friendly, although it is vegetarian friendly to a point. But I think I expected it to be more hippie and more vegan-ish here, but it's not. But that's okay, this looks good. Looks authentic. Where's the rice? That's the rice? Mm -hmm. Oh. Underneath? Ah. I think it's like minute rice. <laughs> What's way nicer than camping is having a bed like this! Yay! Oh my god. We, how many days did we go camping? In a row. Not that many. Since Sunday, Sunday to Monday, Monday to Tuesday, Tuesday to Wednesday, Wednesday to Thursday. It's only been four days, but we were in need of a bed because I wasn't sleeping very good Ugh. and it was so cold. We might actually go home early <laughs> because we were supposed to go. Okay, so we're going to be in Nelson until the 5th. It's September 3rd. We're going to be in Nelson until the 5th at this place and then... We were gonna go to Waterton Lakes National Park, five till six, six till seven, seven till eight, three nights. But we checked the weather and it's gonna be pissing rain the whole time. It's gonna be freezing. And I don't think we can handle it. In fact, I was willing to handle it, but John suggested maybe going home because he doesn't want to sleep in the rain and pack up a wet tent and all this stuff. Right, John? So, yeah, okay, John's going to the bathroom. I'm gonna go to sleep and watch cable. Actually, check out the TV. Ha ha. I very much recommend the Alpine Inn. It's very nice, look. It's all newly renovated. I thought this wall made a good OOTD wall. But we're gonna watch some TV and have a drink and lie in this bed and go to sleep for 12 hours. Cause I'll actually finally have a pillow and a mattress, which I haven't had for days and it's cranking up my neck and I'm having a hard time. So I did want to go to Waterton Lakes National Park really badly but if it's just pouring the whole time there's no point because it's just going to be awful. I'm not going to have any fun. So if anyone lives in Nelson and you're watching this, cool town. But thanks for watching my vlogs from the west coast. This has been my little vacation and uh, sorry I didn't post for like many many days but we'll get caught up soon.
Okay. Good night.